I'm going to show you guys how to write the number zero and the number one. So let's start out with the number zero. That is the first number. So zero starts with the letter Z, zero. And this is the number zero. Zero means nothing. So you have no counters, no markers, nothing. It is just there. So I'm gonna draw a hand. All right, this is my hand. And it is meaning that I'm going like this. I have no fingers up because zero represents nothing. Now, if I had a 10 frame, and that is this, this is called a 10 frame. It is called a 10 frame because it has 10 boxes. So if I counted these, I would count 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now to show zero, remember zero is nothing, so I'm not going to color in any boxes. But if we had the number one, looks like this, then we would have a box for our 10 frame. So for the number one, I am going to draw one finger up, and that is representing one, and then I can put one counter. A counter is just like a circle. So we can put one counter, and then if we draw a 10 frame, remember it's called a 10 frame because it has boxes, then I can color in one box. So when we color in a 10 frame, you're always going to start on the left and at the top. You can't start here, you can't start here, nor here. Only right here. So if I'm going to count one, I'm going to color in my box one. So this represents zero and this is one. Now to write the number zero, we have our lines again. Remember, this is the top line, dashed line, bottom line. To write the number zero, you still need to always start from the top. So you're gonna start at the top, touch the top line, and you're also gonna touch the bottom line. So watch this, I'm gonna start at the top, make a circle down to the bottom, don't stop there, back to the top. Do you see how I touched the top line and the bottom line? Now you do not want your zero to be hanging below the, the bottom line, okay? It's too big. You also don't want your zero floating. Do you see how there's so much room down here? That means it's floating. We don't want it floating. We want it to start at the top, circle all the way down to the bottom line and back up to the top. That is a zero. Now, a number one is so easy, so easy. Watch this, but you must start at the top. You're gonna start at the top, straight line down to the bottom line, and that's it. Let's do it again. Start at the top, straight line down to the bottom line and stop. You do not want the number one though to go below the bottom line or to be really small, okay? You want it to start at the top and stop at the bottom. That is the number one. That's probably the easiest number that you have to write. All right, now we are gonna review or begin to talk about a circle. The circle is going to be our first shape. So I am going to draw a picture of a circle and it looks our zero is just like a circle. All right. And with our circle, we are going to talk about attributes. Say attributes. Attributes are words that describe something. So we're gonna talk about words that describe a circle. A circle is round. 
So that's going to be our first attribute. Round. It has a curve. Now this is a curve where it goes around like that. That's called a curve. And this is a straight line. A circle does not have any straight lines, but it does have curves. Curve. And then it also has something called zero vertices. Now I'm going to tell you what that is. So a vertice is a point. A circle does not have a point on it. So there are no points in a circle. You will see that when we start to learn about a square, a triangle, a rectangle, those have points or vertices. So the circle has zero. So I want you to echo me. I go, you go. Ready, here we go. Circle, round, curve, zero vertices. And I'm actually gonna add a hair. Zero vertices and it is curved. All righty, good job. So let's do some reviewing. We have the number zero, the number one, and the shape of a circle. Good job. Alrighty guys, I will see you when it is time for handwriting and writing our next letter that we are gonna learn about.